hello everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question cookie day the problem states that a very caring mother has n cookie jars with her each jar contains a different type of cookie there are ai cookies in the ith jar the mother wants to give some cookies to her k children and she decided to only distribute cookies of a single type that is she will choose exactly one of the n jars and distribute the cookies within it she would like to ensure a couple of things each child should receive at least one cookie each child should also receive an equal number of cookies in the spirit of fairness so under the above two conditions what is the minimum number of wasted cookies that is cookies that remain in the chosen jar after distribution if it is not possible to give out any cookies at all print minus 1 instead so our input is t the number of test cases n and k number of cookies are and number of children and we have n separated integer a1 to an where ai is the number of cookies in the i n jar now suppose you have four jars and you need to distribute cookies among three children so we have 7 8 2 1 the best choice would be to have the first jar so six cookies would be divided among children if each child get two two cookies hence it will count to six and seven minus six that is one so one is wasted in the next case it has four children but the maximum amount of cookie is 3 which returns minus 1 now in the next case if you see there is only one child and all jar contains one one cookie so you can select any one jar and none of the cookies are wasted in case of 1000 children you can select any one jar where you can distribute the maximum so in this case if you take the case of 1000 children and distribute two two cookies to each so it will account to 2000 and you can choose the third one in which 24 cookies would be left as we see we can also give one one cookie to each of them it would be 1000 and you can see that this option is not applicable minimum can be 1000 and then if 1000 are the cookies then 500 would be wasted in case of second case if 2000 is there 100 would be wasted in fourth case and 24 in the second case in the third case so the minimum is 24 hence 24 is printed here so what we exactly want to do is we can find the number of wasted cookies by dividing ai with m so we can take the modulus of ai with m and this will be the remaining cookies so suppose my ai is 2024 so if i take the modulus of 2024 by 1000 it will give me 24 now first we need to check if ai is greater than equal to m or not if this is not the case then you will simply print minus 1 if this is not the case for all ais otherwise we will take minimum of our answer comma ai modulus n and you can put the answer as the maximum element in the array or you can put initialize answer as infinity as well so both can be the cases and you will get the output so 
if answer equal to suppose infinity now my answer would be minimum of answer comma a modulus m ti modulus m so this would be my answer and if this is the case then only we would proceed for calculating this minimum else we will output minus 1 or will not check for that particular ai which is less than m because it can't have any distribution for example in case of 3 we have 7 8 2 1 so first you check 7 is greater than equal to 3 you proceed with this and then you check for 8 8 is also greater than equal to 3 you proceed with this first 2 2 is not greater than equal to 3 so no need to proceed with this loop to directly move to the next element check for 1 same thing for 1 so proceed no need to check and taking the example of 1 2 3 1 all of them does not satisfy this condition hence we print minus 1 in this case so uh, to make it more clear let's look at the code so here is the python code for the same and you can have the c++ code similarly as well so first what we do we take the input of n m and the list and answer will be something infinity or you can also take the last element of the array afterwards you can assign and flag is zero so for a in nums means the elements in nums we are checking if any element is greater than or equal to m then we calculate minimum which is minimum of answer comma a modulus m so this gives us the minimum remainder which will be left by dividing a element of the array with m and if none of these satisfy the condition a greater than or equal to m then we need to print minus 1 which can be done by checking flag if flag equal equal to 0 means we are not encountered this condition because if this condition is there flag would be updated to 1 so if this condition is not encountered then we would do print minus 1 and directly return else we will print the answer so i hope this solution is clear to all thanks for watching